Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create two checkout account for drop shipping. So this is for a drop shipping for Shopify and WooCommerce. But before we start, hurry up and check out our daily software just under this video. So let's get started. Now we all know that two checkout here is a real, really real, well known um, payment method that you could use for Shopify and WooCommerce. Now, how do we create our account? Well, first things first, you need to go to their official website, which is going to be twocheckout.com. Now, from here, if you're a pretty big business, you need to reach out to their support or their sales team. Now, if you're pre just a small account or just a small business, well, in this case, you could create your own account. Now at the top right, you have two options, talk to sales or sign up for free. Let's go and choose sign up for free. Now, what we need to do is we need to actually choose the following options here. So we have to sell here and to subscribe and to monetize. Now in this case, depending on the plan that you get here, you'll be able to utilize a bunch of features. Like for example, to sell, you have the option to sell instantly on 200 countries or territories, integrate quickly on 122 plus carts, scale up to international growth and sell any type of product and access to recurring billing. Now, if you choose to subscribe here, you have the option to include to sell to uh, include all to sell benefits plus additional, right? You retain more customers and reduce churn. I also have the two monetize here. So you also have the two subscribe benefits, all of them, and additional features again. Now in this case, depending on the plan here, you have, again, different features that you can leverage. In this case, they also have different percentages, like for example, 4.5% plus $0.45. So in this case, for per successful sale. So meaning you they'll be getting, like for example, 4.5 and plus 0.5 cents for the actual sale of the item. So in this case, whenever you're posting something online, make sure you take account on the fees that of to check out here would actually give you but for now let's just go ahead and choose the two sell option here click, let's go and click on sign up for free and from here we need to provide a few things here like for example our first name last name business name password and our website in this case i actually have a shopify website so let's go ahead and provide all those details and make sure that we confirm that we're not a robot so let's go ahead and provide all those these all those details now on the next page what we need to do is we now need to Choose the following option. So in this case, what type of products do you want to sell on to checkout? So in this case, you can go and choose one of the following, which is digital products, online services, retail physical products, offline services, or other if none of them fit the following categories. So for example, I want to say digital products here. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to answer this question. How do you want to handle ta sales taxes and risk, and risk compliance? In this case, you could go ahead and uh, allow to check out to handle them. But if you want to handle them, handle them your own, you could choose I want to handle them in-house. And from here, let's go and click on create account. Now, what we need to do is we need to wait for the next page to appear. So let's just wait for it to load up. And as you can see, we've just successfully created our to check out account. Let's go and click on log in to my account here. And what we need to do next is we just need to provide our username. So you might be wondering what is your username. You could go and click on this link here. So if, you're too, uh, if your account has been upgraded from the previous to check admin area, you need to log in using the same username. Otherwise, you need to use your email address. So in this case, you just need to provide your email address if this is the first time that you're logging in into your account. In this case, let's go and enter our username, your username or email here, as well as our password. Let's go ahead and provide those. And as you can see, we've just successfully logged in into our two checkout account. Now, in this case, for you to start selling or start using your two checkout account here, you first need to activate your account. Or in this case, you just need to verify yourself. In this case, just click on the start activation here. And from here, you have a few steps here you need to complete. Like for example, some information on getting started. Like for example, the pricing plan, which in this case, we selected to sell here, uh, the plan that we selected. So in this case, you could go ahead and read their systems policy here and require documents like identity documents, company documents, uh, a lot of those details. But for now, let's go and click on next. Now, it's going to ask you to enter your business uh, or your about business here. That includes the financial details, stakeholders. So in this case, your company registration date, country, city, address, and a lot of those details. Now, also, you might also need to provide a details about yourself. So that includes in the account settings and document section, which in this case, you just need to follow the on-screen steps that you see here. And also, make sure to provide accurate details on your account. So 
just to avoid or basically to prevent any air issues in your account in the future. Like if, if they found that your documents does not match with what you provided in your uh, sign up or in the verification process here, your account might get uh, some issues on it. So make sure to provide the accurate details as much as you can and review all the details that you'll be entering here. But in this case, once you provide all the details or documents, you should be able to have your account verified. Now, once your account is verified, you should be able to start using a two checkout here. But in this case, that's how you create an account. And that's about it. If you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.